Hi, I'm Matthew with F Classic Me Channel. Today I'd like to talk to you about flyers and brass and how they relate to each other. And a lot of times, you know, competitors all around say, go out, buy the best components as you can. And, and these are some of the best components that you could purchase with your money. Uh, we, you know, go out, buy a box of uh, Lapua brass or Peterson's or whatever premium uh, name brand of brass that's out there, Alpha, you name it. There, there are a lot of companies out there uh, that are selling premium brass these days. And there, there's a feeling uh, that with high-end brass, a lot of competitors want to squeeze as much value uh, and get as many reloading as possible with the brass that they purchase. But I think we have to keep in mind that brass is one of the cheaper components out of all the equipment that we buy to shoot and, and to compete in F-Class. And I think we have to just put that thought of value and getting squeezing as much value and use out of our components uh, to the side uh, for a little bit. Because that could be costing you valuable points in order to, to win your, your championship or the match that you're shooting at. So how are you getting flyers? Well, one thing is, we have to make sure our brass is all consistent. And what, how, whatever and however you prep your brass, do it to the best to your abilities. May it be neck turning, uh, deburring the flash holes, uniforming the uh, primer pockets, trimming uh, the trim length, and et cetera, et cetera. We as competitors do all that in order to, to make sure that our brass is the most consistent, that we're taking those factors out that we can control. So what constitutes a flyer? A flyer is a shot that falls outside of what your waterline group is or whatever your group is. In this case, if I was in a competition, this flyer that dropped out the bottom here could of cost me points in the competition. So in, in order to establish that we, we are shooting consistently, we have to make sure that all our brass is fired through at least one time and uniformed and resized all the same way. The thing is, after that, when we shoot, we have to be very methodical in terms of how we shoot through our brass. A lot of times when we shoot, string shoot, as a competitor, we look for a certain condition and what you're, you're doing is running through that condition and putting as many shots as you can within that condition in order to shoot that high score. However, a lot of times when we do string shooting and we're not being methodical in terms of how we, we keep track of our flyers, we may lose points with it, w within that sequence. And what I do is I, I, I'm very methodical when, when, when I shoot. I keep track of all my brass uh, that are shooting out of line. And, and I like to show you how I, I do that. Let's say that you're, you're shooting a string and you've gone through a, a certain number of shots and they're all grouping and you're scoring very good. But all of a sudden you have a shot that falls out of the group. And when I say fall out, uh, it either goes down or it goes goes up. Left and right, that is that is on, on us in terms of making a, a proper win call. And as a competitor, we this is our goal, is to achieve a, a waterline group. A group that that is falling, again, if you look at some of our uh, tutorials, is following the center line horizontally. Uh, across the target. So when, when something drops out the bottom, we have to question what is the cause. We may have spent a lot of time prepping that brass. We ensure that it's to one kernel of accuracy in terms of the powder that's in there. We anneal. Uh, if we've done everything consistent, then we, we must assume that there's one or two problems. Is One is the shooter or two is, is the component. And because the rifle has been had been shooting very consistently up, uh, up to that point. And 
a lot of times we, we put place a lot of trust in our, in our components. And the thing is, in my experience, I've had very expensive brass, Lapua brass, or even, you know, what, whatever premium brass that I'm using, still I get flyers and it drops out of group, even though my method, methodology in reloading that ammunition has been consistent in the entire way through. So, let's say shot 10 falls out of the group. For, for me, when I'm shooting string, I'm keeping track of my brass. I always place my brass uh, case mouth down. And if I encounter a flyer that is really out of character or out of my waterline group, then I would take a note of, of that. I would mark my brass, I would turn it around and, and say, okay, I have to keep track of that piece of brass. This met method has worked for me quite consistently. And I've been able to identify brass that consistently shoot inaccurately because something's changed fundamentally with that brass. Even though it's from the same lot, it's prepped all consistently, something has changed and that it falls out of group. Be, be methodical. Be methodical in keeping track of your, your brass. A lot of times uh, when we shoot string, we're very, we, we just run it through and it, it becomes just a big pile on the side of the mat. However, for myself, I, I'm very methodical. I record down each and every shot, shot. I plot where the shot lands and I question, is that piece of brass gone? And, and I've saved many points and lost many points because of, of brass like this. And what I would do is when I get home, I would use a Sharpie and, and color the base and, and identify that brass as a brass a piece of brass that I need to monitor. If it shoots again after I reloaded reloaded a, a second or third or whatever time and it still shoots out out of group I will call the brass. So here's the tip is call your brass, make sure that it shoots consistently within your group and keep track of your flyers. Because it may be just something very fundamental as that case doesn't match up with the, the in terms of consistency of your other cases. It's basically a case that you should call. So be methodical. Keep track of what, what, which cases are giving you flyers and retest those cases if they group within your waterline. So that's it. Thank you. It's Matthew with F Class Community Channel. And remember to subscribe and remember to keep an eye on the flags and tight groups.